Hey everybody, come in with us tonight. We're going to be we're going to be featuring glitter from um, Black Bear Glitters. So when I turn you down, you can get a fifteen percent discount if you type in the code when you order Judy Roars fifteen, and that'll give you fifteen percent. Judy Roars fifteen to give you fifteen percent off uh, anytime you. Something you can look at is when you pick a glitter and click on the drop down box, it, one glitter may have uh, four or five different size glitters in that same color. So be sure and check that out. And something else I wanted to do is give you a quick tip. I've had a lot of people talk about their tumblers falling off the arm. Uh, no, and I'm not talking about Rick's uh, turner. I'm just talking about arms in general. Now. They just take their arm and they push it up into the football or the foam or whatever they're using. And as it stretches, as it stretches, sometimes the whole thing will fall off, not the arm where the arm's screwed into your tumbler. But what I do, and they're so cheap, I take Gorilla Glue and I glue mine in there. And I've never had a cup. I've never had a cup fall off the turner because the football stays on and the cup stays on the and I take a hot glue gun and just put some streaks down the football just randomly all around it let it dry and that will make your cup stay on your football so that's just a quick tip to help you out if you're having a problem with your cups falling off your turner and you don't glue these two together you just push it in there and then this and the cup falls off of your arm so quick tip now we're going to be um this is the cup that we're going to be starting with tonight and i painted it uh, i know a lot of you have problems uh, in cold weather being able to paint so this one I did with acrylic paint just to show you you can do it with acrylic paint but uh, I'm going to be using a gold glitter a purple and we'll be using purple aqua uh, look to it so we'll be doing that and but this is painted what I did I taped it off I'm so sorry for these interruptions I taped it off I painted it and um and then I did the paint, and it took three coats, and I didn't tape anything off. I just freehanded it and did it the way I wanted it. I wanted the gold to come around, so when you get to this side, you can see gold, purple, aqua, and gold. So that way you can see all the colors. So now what we're going to do, I'll put the football in, and we'll put it on the turner. I'll turn you down, and I'll show you the glitters. This is one of the glitters that we're going to be using. And this one is Black Bear Glitters, and it's um, Damselfly Glitter. And then this one is uh, Purple Cosmo, regular mica powder from the mica collection. And it's a uh, Purple Mist. It's going to be a beautiful. We'll do this in the second part of shift. And it's uh, the color on it. It shifts green. You can see it a little bit, but it's a color shift mica that we'll be using. And this one is a color shift. This one is Sir Blendalot is the name of it. Using, And I just use just regular acrylic paint to paint the colors. It doesn't matter what cup you're doing. So now let me get you turned around. And uh, what we're going to be doing uh, first, we'll put our epoxy on because I do the epoxy now. And I'll get the mica powders out of the way. And then we'll just get the glitters over here that we're going to be using. And remember now when I do um, the epoxy, one-eighth of a teaspoon. And that's what we're going to start with. And I always put in B first because it's not as thick as part A. And I just like for part B. It just seems to work better for me. And you want to clean your little spoon out. The epoxy method. I don't use the Cresting Craft uh, translucent resin dye. I only use it when I'm using it and putting the resin, the epoxy, on top of the glitter. When it's going to be under the glitter, I don't use it. 
and y'all that have watched my lives, you know that that's part of what I do. This is the casting craft, and I use it on all my cups, not just the white ones. Um, I feel like if it's going to turn white yellow, it will change the color of any other one and turn it yellow. If you've got one that's, say, a, a black or a brown or even this one, and you put a white decal on it, well, eventually that epoxy is going to turn that white decal yellow. It'll change the color in it if you don't do something to help slow down the yellowing. Now, any epoxy will yellow over time. So just keep that in mind. But this helps keep it from yellowing as fast. And it's Casting Craft Translucent Resin Dye. And I get mine at Hobby Lobby. You can order it online. Um, this will stir now for two minutes. Uh, when I'm just mixing that small amount, I only stir it for a short time. And then what I'll do before I put it on the cup, we'll heat the cup up. And that makes this little bit just spread on there like butter. If you don't, you can get it on there if you don't heat your cup. But it just takes a lot longer. And it's uh, more of a job. You can get it on a lot easier if you do it by heating your cup. It makes it just blend on there really easy. But this one, like I said, is going to be three parts. We'll do part one, <coughs> excuse me, part one tonight, and then I'll probably, <coughs> excuse me, probably do part two on Wednesday morning around 11, and then I'll probably do part three on Friday afternoon around three. So that's my plan right now, but I will put it in the events so that uh, if you'll keep up with it and if you're on this site tumblers tutorials made easy for everyone well then you'll see the event come up and uh, if you join it then you'll get a notice or you should get a notice uh, when the event's going to be so this has got to got 35 seconds countdown so then we'll get this on the cup this won't take very long tonight because what we'll be doing is putting on the uh, epoxy and then putting our glitter on. Oh, but the best I can tell by looking under, I think it's right there. It's in the screen where you can see it. So I'm going to stir it just a little bit more. Okay. And I'll put on my glove, and you don't have to worry about any bubbles uh, when you're doing the epoxy method, because they're going to be covered up. And we'll get my heat gun and heat the cup. Now my heat gun has some. Um, let me get that. This is our numbers, and I gotta put it under something that's blowing away. I'm gonna put it right up under there. Um, it has seven heat settings and three speeds. So, and then I put this little, I bought this little attachment to go on it, which makes the flow just into a tiny spot in a tip, which makes it easier to work with. And I got my gun at Harbor Freight. You see how easy that slides on when you've got that cup hot. It makes it so much easier. And then what I'll do before we come back. Um, on top of the glitter, I'll put a heavy coat of epoxy so that it'll be a smooth service so when we come back and do the mica, then we can put the mica on there, mica a little bit better if it's not mixed in with the heavy epoxy. So that's the reason I do it that way. 
Now this, you want to make sure that you've got it around the bottom good. Don't want to leave any place, especially rim like this cup does around the bottom. And the paint is not in spots. It's not real, real smooth. And that doesn't matter because it's going to be covered with glue on there for color so that it doesn't take as much glitter. Doing it this way, 95% of the time, I only have to use if I do it on a white cup or a silver base cup, then I have to I still got a little bit of epoxy left in this. Not much, but a little bit. So let me get rid of that. And I'm going to put a trusty plate under here to catch my... These have not been opened. The brand new. So I've got to open them. And this is a beautiful glitter. And it doesn't have to be a perfect. Now I have to wait till that gets around again so that I can get that little spot right there. this back into my container and as you can see very very little is gone out of the container you think it would take a lot of glitter but it does not always take a lot of glitter okay now this one is the Purple Cosmo. And you just work with it. Take your time. Don't get in a hurry. Let the turner do the work for you. looking pretty good bounce it off see one spot right there I want to put a little bit more when it comes back around this back in. Can you see all that sparkle? Oh man, now that one ran over even though I used as much as I did. Let's see if I can get a little bit of it back on here. You don't want to waste good glitter. Okay. Now you can see that's still full to the top. Okay, now this one is Damsel Fly. Clean my plate. Now this one is a color shift glitter. So it's going to really be pretty. It'll bring out the purple, the gold, the teal. All the color. But it'll be enough that you can tell the difference in it and the purple. The way it will shift.
And then we're going to do this with a little bit of a twist uh, when we get to uh, part three. You all know I like to put a little twist on everything if I can to make it a little bit easier. And we will be doing that. And now what I'll do, I want you to see how much is in there. And then when I put this back in there, you'll see that you can't hardly even tell any is being used. But let me show you this while it's on the plate so you can see if that way you can see the color shift on it. Um, I can't see to see if you can see how beautiful it is. I mean, it's a deep teal, a black, a purple. It's a gold tinge every now and then. It's just beautiful. And see how it filled up all the way to the top now I've got to bump it some to get the rest of it in there because I've still got this much to go in there okay now what I'll do I'll let this turn all night but I'm going to go ahead and I'll pat this down. Well, I might as well go ahead and take the tape off while I've got you on here. Because a lot of people, they don't think I really take my tape off uh, when I'm done. But I do. Uh, let me get some parchment paper. doesn't take much parchment paper. You can just use a little bit and I just sort of wrap it around my fingers like that and then just use it to pat when I need to. But also what I'll do after this dries all night, then I'll take a brush, hold it over the trash can and I'll brush off any loose glitter. This is my brush I use to brush the glitter off. And um, with the colors underneath it, the color's going to be there. And you won't even be able to tell that I brushed any off. But it will get any that's sticking up off so that then you get a smooth texture when you get ready to do your epoxy on it. You can see all these little pieces sticking up. But when I brush it off, that won't be on there. But now we're going to pull the tape. Make sure I've got it in the screen where you can see it. And... Yes, where the overlaps, usually there's one little spot. Let me see if there was on this one. Every once in a while, there'll be a place where there's not even a spot. So I don't know why it does sometimes, and sometimes it don't. This one did not have a spot, but I'm running my finger around it so that any of the glitter that's sticking up over where I pull the tape off, uh, I can push it back onto the cup. So that way I have a smooth edge. Now... I think you can see where I'm pulling that off. Okay. Now, let's look at it. See what we got. Now, that one had a little spot right there. So, we'll... And now, what I'm doing, going all the way around any of the chunks of glitter like I said that's hanging over where I pull the tape all it does is just push it back up on the cup so that you have a smooth edge now let me get this out and I'll turn it up where you can see it and this glitter that's on this wax paper 
I will save that and put it in my dump bottle. I guess everybody's got a dump bottle. Don't waste this glitter. Gotta start you a dump bottle or a dump bucket or a dump bowl or whatever and use it. Okay. I don't know if you can see it good or not but it is beautiful beautiful and it really will be pretty once i get it dusted and we get another coat of epoxy on it y'all have a good evening and then i'll set it up and we'll see you uh hopefully on wednesday about 11 to do part two y'all have a great evening a little bit better luck with our internet they did come out again so we'll see if it works any better so we're going to do part two of our gypsy leopard tumbler and we're going to start that today and i'm going to show you the featured glitters again that okay there it went again so we'll see uh the featured glitters that we use is by black bear glitters and this one that we used for the gold is champagne wishes and the one that we used for the color shift that has the purple and the turquoise is um, Damselfly. And the one that we used for just the purple, uh, it is a Purple Cosmo. So those are the three that we used for the glitter. And now what we use are going to use today for the micas, we have a, a purple mica that is um, Purple Mist. It's a beautiful, beautiful mica. And the other two are color shift micas. And this one is, um, it color shifts green, yellow, blue, and purple. You can sort of see it there, how it's color shifting. And then the other one is um, green, purple, blue, and red. And it's a color shift, and you can see the color shift there. Okay, and those are the micas that we're going to use today. And now for my cup, I did prep it. And I painted it with um, acrylic paint that was shown in part one. Uh, I know a lot of people that uh, <clears throat> live in places where it's real cold. You have a hard time painting in the wintertime. So I wanted to do it with acrylic paint to show you that you can get the same effect with acrylic, acrylic paint. It does take about three coats when you're doing acrylic paint. And I suggest that you buy a Mod Podge brush. Um, that's the best thing for a smooth finish without brush strokes. So uh, it is worth the money for you to go ahead and buy a Mod Podge brush. But you can see I taped off my gold because we're going to put epoxy on this other part. We're going to do our micas. And then I'll pull the tape off the gold just like I'll pull it off of the rim and the bottom. So we'll do that, and we're going to mix up our micas. Let me get this in my turner. And then we'll start mixing up our micas and our epoxy. I will put a light coat of epoxy on. And uh, that light coat of epoxy, I don't want it to move a lot, but I want it to move just a little bit. Uh, we don't want it to move like a glitter swirl uh, when we're putting this mica on. We want it to sort of stay where we put it. So I'm going to turn you down, and we're going to start doing some mixing. So I'm going to see if I can get you now where... I'm going to see if I can pull you up on my screen. Let's see how that works today. So I can make sure I've got everything in frame so that you can see it. So, give me just a minute, and let's see if it comes up. I think we got it. All right. Uh, yep, yeah, we got it on there. So, right here is where I'm going to be mixing. I'm going to do the big first, and I'm going to do... Um, a tablespoon even though I'm just doing part of the cup to make sure I have enough and any that I have left over I can always put it in a mold so if you don't have any molds you need to buy you some and that way you don't waste your epoxy you can make keychains you can make earrings you can make necklaces um, just so many things that you can do and I always put my part A uh, B in first because the B is thinner, and I like for my part A to go down into my part B when I'm pouring it, and um, it just seems like it mixes a little bit better to me. 
there's just no rhyme or reason why we cuppers do what we do so whatever works best for you and you may have directions on your epoxy if you use a different kind I use alumilite I have used alumilite uh, for over three years for over three and a half years and I've never had any problem with it except yellowing and um, I found out a remedy for that I heard someone else talking about um, casting craft translucent blue resin dye so that's what I use and I put just a touch in it now when I'm doing a um, glitter method to apply epoxy I do not put it in that because uh, the resin is under the epoxy is under the glitter so with it under the glitter I don't worry about it but if it's going to be on top of the glitter or on top of any design I always like to use it and um, even if I'm not doing a white cup if I'm not doing a pale yellow cup a pale pink cup I still put it in there because I feel like if it's gonna yellow anything white it will yellow anything else and change the color if you're using a um, white decal on it and you've got a black cup and you don't put it in there well then eventually your white decal is gonna yellow because of that epoxy being on it the epoxy without anything in it now I have not got to try the Alumilite formula the uh, amazing clear cast plus which is not supposed to yellow near as fast but all epoxy eventually will yellow so you can see I didn't use even a drop you can see that little bit that I used so now we're gonna set our timer when I'm doing uh, this amount I always uh, anything for a tablespoon or higher I stir four minutes anything lower than a tablespoon I stir for three minutes and if I'm using my one-eighth a and one-eighth of a teaspoon B when I'm doing the um, epoxy method I only stir it for two minutes uh, doing it this way I've never had a cup that came out sticky it always comes out um, they've always cured properly and um, it's just a matter of patience uh, I think that's one thing in doing tumblers you just about gotta have is patience so uh, you'll notice that when I'm doing a live I don't go through and answer any questions uh, but if you ask your questions uh, any of your comments I will go in after the live and I will answer them either later this afternoon or tonight until I get them all answered so ask any questions you want and if I don't have an answer then we'll see if we can find an answer together but um, I like to go ahead and just do my live and go through it and get it done and that way when we do that it makes the live go faster um, I'm busy you're busy I know we all are so I don't stay on the live and do a lot of chatting for that reason because um, I have busy days every day and I like to watch lives but I want to see it completed uh, and I like to see it completed in a hurry uh, so that we can get on with our work and get on with our tumbler making so we will be getting this done and I think it's going to turn out really really pretty uh, with the micas on it and then I'm going to do a twist when we do our live Friday um, and you'll have to watch and tune in to see that twist so it looks like y'all that maybe maybe uh, what they did has helped with the internet I don't see it uh, going on and off like it has been so that is great 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 so I'm real tickled about that and uh, the new formula of the Illumilite I noticed I was at Hobby Lobby one day last week and they did have it in at Hobby Lobby 
so I'm you know deeper than normal I would say something deeper than you would use for earrings or a necklace or even a keychain for that matter uh, I have got some that I needed a deep pour uh, because it takes it longer to dry when you have it so thick and you're pouring it into a heavy mold okay I see a little bit of interruption on my computer I don't okay it interrupted for a long time that time y'all I'm sorry I guess I spoke too soon I was hoping it was fixed but evidently it's not so we'll have to call them out again but uh, as you can see I mixed it four minutes the timer went off when we were interrupted but you can see the bubbles in it uh, I'll hit that with my torch just one time and uh, then we'll let a few more bubbles pop up and um, and then we'll put it on our cup after I mix the micas in it so I'm gonna pour a little bit in each one of these cups now so that we can mix our micas and then I'll show you about how much we need to put and it's always better to use a little bit to begin with and then add as you need to you can always add but you can't take away and it does not take a lot when you're doing micas so we'll mix those and we'll then put uh, epoxy on our cup get that out of the way and okay, we'll start with our let me put some gloves on because it does tend to get all over your hands any of you that work with micas know that so now I use this um, little bitty 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 spoon and it's made to dip micas and that kind of stuff so it's tiny tiny and you can order these off of Amazon um, and this is the purple mist and I'm using just a level spoon and we'll see how that mixes and then if we need to add some more we will and we'll wipe that out so when I go into the next color oh and I broke it that's okay okay now let's stir this one and see what color we've got oh yeah that was a, a gracious plenty Let's see how pretty the color is beautiful beautiful and that is uh, the mica collection purple mist purple mist stirring it up pretty good and now the next one we're going to use is sir blend a lot and it um, shifts green purple blue and red and this is the um, bare melon mica series and you need to move easy with all of these micas because they are fine and go everywhere that one I'm using just a little level spoon And don't have your fan on, heater on, anything that's blowing. If you can see, you can see how it's, of course, some of that was already on my gloves, but all this right here, you can see, is from that. Okay, that's plenty for that, too. But you can see that and how pretty it is. And that's a, a color shift and then this one is um, Cordy Blendy and it is shifts green yellow blue and purple and again work with it slowly because it does go everywhere and I'm going to use just a level spoon in this one too that's all you need takes very little okay 
Now I'm going to dust my gloves off. Take them off. And then we'll stir this color. See how that one shifts. And when we put this on our cup, remember we didn't want any of it on our gold because the gold is where our leopard spots is going to be. Now I'm going to wipe up a little bit of my mess so I won't get it all over everything. And I'm going to pull the cup over and we will start putting our epoxy on our cup. Make sure I got that where you can see it. Okay. Now it doesn't take a lot. Remember, we don't want it to move like we were doing a glitter swirl. We just want enough epoxy on it that we can put our micas on it. And then we're going to pull our tape after we do that. So, just put a little bit of the time on there so you can then sort of see how much you've got and if you need to add any more. I think I've got it in frame where you can see it. Just gonna rub some of it on there so I can sort of tell how much I got. Make sure you go all the way up to the top where you've taped it off if you tape yours off. Now you do not have to tape the top and bottom of your cups. Uh, for some of you that may be new, um, usually anybody new asks me why I always do that. Um, over the years I've found that if a customer drops their tumbler most of the time it's going to hit on the bottom rim and if it hits on that bottom rim it's usually going to crack uh, it will either just crack or it will sometimes just crack a whole chunk out of the bottom of the cup sometimes you can fix it for the customer and sometimes you can't so I found if I tape the top and bottom I like the look number one and number two with that bottom being taped off um, it really helps to protect the cup if it's dropped for the customer so they're not disappointed if they drop their tumbler and uh, it cracks and like I said some designs you can fix them and repair them but there's some that you just can't you have to start over so it just depends on what kind of design but now this cup, I did not have to sand the gold at all. It's a fine glitter. But the chunky glitter, I did have to sand. So I did tape before I started sanding. Uh, after we finished Monday night, I did go in and I put a coat of epoxy on the tumbler. I let it dry overnight. It didn't have to dry overnight uh, because I did the epoxy method but I let it dry overnight and then uh, Tuesday night I put another coat of epoxy on it so it would have epoxy on it when we started today and I did that so that I could tape up the gold because I wanted the gold taped up I don't want any of the micas to get in the gold and I think I've got it cleared pretty good but there's some steps that you don't have to take, some that you do. I had rather be cautious and not have to do a cup over because I tried to rush and uh, not do a step that I felt like really should be necessary. So that's the reason that I do the steps that I do. But you can see how beautiful this glitter is. And something I want you to know now, when you um, go into black bare glitters and you go in for the first time if you'll use the code 
in all caps, Judy Roars 20, you'll get 20% off of your first order. Anybody doing a first time order will get 20% off. And then after that, anytime you order, if you'll use in all caps as a code, Judy Growls 10, you'll get 10% off anything you order. So just remember that when you're ordering from Black Bear Glitters. Okay, now I'm going to get my cup turning in the different direction. Let me switch it. I can find my cord. Um, putting the micas on, I want it turning in a different direction. There we go, finally I can see it. I got too many cords over here, y'all. Okay. Well, normally it'll start turning in a different direction. Let's see. Okay, there we go. Now this, you don't want to put it on heavy. I'd rather do it a little at a time. And I'm going to put the purple on the purple. So... And you can always go back and add more, but you can't take away. Just remember that in doing cups, anything that you do. You can add, but you can't take away. Now we're going to go with... Uh, Our next color. Let me let it come around. And you can take it right up to your tape. Because we will be pulling the tape, remember. Now we're going to put some of our next color. And remember these last two that I'm using, their color shift. The one that I used first, the purple, is not a color shift. It's just purple. Beautiful purple. Okay, I think that's probably all I'm going to use. And I'm not going to hit it with the heat because I don't want it moving. Uh, I want it to pretty much stay like it is. Let me see. There's one spot right there. I saw I want just a little bit more. Maybe right there. Okay. Let it turn just a minute, and then we'll start taking the tape off. And then these colors that I had left, uh, I have earring molds. I have uh, a um, cross mold. I have several molds, uh, necklace molds, that I can use those colors in that will be beautiful. Okay, I'm going to take the bottom off first. and get that tape where it's overlapped. Maybe I better take the tape that I've got going round off first. So let me get my control and we'll turn this off and um, we'll start pulling this tape.
and I'm turning it by hand to pull this tape off. It's hard to pull, so let's go back and get both of those. And I'm going to have to hold it with my baby wipe to get a hold of it. It's slicky. Now, there we go. Now, let's pull the rest of it off. Okay. Wipe my hands just a little bit. And then we're going to pull the top rim off. And right there where it overlaps, hit it with my baby wipe. And then now we're going to pull the bottom rim off. And now let me give it a twirl and then we're going to get our cut turning. Okay. Now we got it turning again. And you can see I didn't get any on the uh, the gold. And the gold is where we're going to put our leopard print. And that's pretty thick right there. So let's just do some swirls with our popsicle stick. And there we go. And like I said, I'm not going to hit it with the heat gun because I don't want it moving. I want it to pretty much stay where I've put it. And I'll lift this up where you can see what it looks like. And then we'll be back live on Friday afternoon at 3 o'clock. So now I'm going to try to get it up so you can see it. Um, I hope you can sort of see what it looks like and see the color shifting of the micas. And this will turn uh, all day today. And then I'll take it off and then we'll come back uh, on Friday. And when we come back on Friday, uh, that's when we're going to do the third step with our leopard print. So y'all have a great rest of the day and good evening and I'll see you then on Friday afternoon about 3 o'clock. Thanks for watching. We're going to be doing part 3 of our Gypsy Leopard Tumbler and hopefully, maybe this internet won't do that but one or two more times during the process. But um, hang in there with me. I've had them out here twice already. So we will be working on the internet as well as working on our Gypsy Leopard Tumbler. So when I turn you down, I'm going to explain to you uh, the process that we've done thus far. And then any of you that missed part one and part two, it, it, you can go back and watch a replay and see where we did part one and part two. So I'm going to turn you down and I'm going to try to pull you up on my computer so that way, that way I can sort of tell when it's pausing. So maybe, uh, I'm so sorry, hang in there with us and I'm going to turn you down. Now I'm going to see if I can get you pulled up and on and make sure I've got the cup where you can see it and um, um, do things faster. Uh, I'm all about doing them where they look just as pretty, but you can do them easier and faster. And I think, I think that's a lot of what this group is all about, trying to do things um, in a good way. So I will be showing you what we're going to do on this. But now to begin with, what I did... I did the tumbler and I prepped it and I top I put tape on the top and bottom and then I sanded and then I painted it with acrylic paint 
and I did the acrylic paint just to show you that uh, in places where it's called spray paint, you can use acrylic paint. But I would suggest that you take time uh, and the money and get you, and get you a Mod Podge brush. Uh, they're a little bit expensive, but when you're painting your acrylic paint on your cups, it does make a very much smoother coat. Now you do have to put about three coats, but it's fast, it doesn't take long, and it doesn't take long for it to dry. And with that, it doesn't have to gas off, so you can, as soon as it's dry, then you can start your next process. So then what we did, we used um, black bear glitters. We used three. We used um, champagne mist, no, I'm sorry, champagne wishes, and that's what we used for the gold here. And then we used um, the uh, damselfly, and that is the color shift that we've got here. And then we use the purple is um, purple Cosmo, and that's what we used for this purple. And then we put a coat of epoxy on it after we applied that with the epoxy method. And after that dried, then I always go in and I use a brush, and I brush the glitter over the trash can and get any loose glitter off of it. And at that point, then I put a good coat of epoxy on it. I do retape the top and the bottom. And put a good coat of epoxy on it and then I retaped the top and bottom and then we went in and mixed some epoxy so that we could use our mica powders now this is a purple that we used and this is purple mist and then the next two are color shifting micas and uh, this is sir blend a lot and it's a color shift it goes from green to purple to red and blue and you can see a little bit of the color shift on that and then this one is um, Cordy Blendy a Cardi Blendy and it goes from green to yellow to blue to purple so it has a shift on it too now I've got a shift on my hands so let me go in and wipe my hands off a little bit and get that off and then you can see where we put that on there we mixed it and put it in a little bit of epoxy and drizzle that on there. But I take off the gold when we did that because I didn't want any of this to get into the gold. And now the little bit of a twist we're going to do on this one. I have some gold foil tape. And as you can see here along the gold all the way around, I taped it. And now we're going to do the bottom part and put that on there. And then as you can see, I'm going to do our gypsy leopard spots with clear water slide. I printed my spots with the brown and the black, and then we're going to put them on there. And then you'll see how the sparkle of the gold shines through, and it saves so many steps of doing the black, making sure it's dry, then putting your brown on, making sure it's dry. Once we get this on there, then all we'll have to do is let it dry and do the last coat of epoxy. And if there's a quote or something that you want on there, you can go ahead and put it on this part. So that that will be your last coat of epoxy unless something goes wrong and you have some fish eyes or something like that. But that way you can go ahead and put a quote on there if you want to. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to use our foil tape. And we're going to go ahead and put it on there. And we'll get started. And then we're going to do our gyp gypsy leopard spots. Okay, and when I put this on, when I start it, I always let it hang over the top. And this, you can't pull it real tight. But you do want to make sure it's tight enough that you don't have any wrinkles or bubbles. Hope you can see what I'm doing. Trying to hold it where you can. Make sure you press it down. And you can sort of see the line that you want to follow where you've got your gold. And this is one of the main reasons I did not want any of our mica powders to flow over into the gold. Because we wanted it to stay clear and clean for our gypsy leopard spots. Okay. Alright. Now, I'm going to go ahead and cut that with the scissors. And then I'm going to trim it with the exacto knife. Put that down, but this came from Hobby Lobby. 
and you want to press it and make sure all the way around that it's down really good. And we've got it pressed down really good. And then I'm going to take my X-Acto knife and I'm just going to snip it right across the top. And take that off. And then we'll do the same thing at the bottom. Make sure it's pressed down good. Take the X-Acto knife and snip it across the bottom. I didn't cut it quite deep enough. Got that done. Now you can see it all the way around. And now I've got some hot water in my little tumbler, my little beach tumbler, and I'm just going to put it in my dish that I use for my smaller water slides. And I use a brush and a paper towel. And I left some of these. This is the way that I printed. I had three to a page. And if I were doing a straight, skinny tumbler, sort of like this one, you could take this and just wrap it around once you have your spots on there and just wrap one of them on a straight one. But this is not. This is a modern curve, and it is a 20 ounce. So I elected like to put them on uh, just a few at the time. So we're going to drop some in so that we can get started. And we'll let them sit in the water just a little bit. The smaller pieces seemingly don't take as long at all as the bigger pieces. Um, and while we're waiting for those just a little bit, we're going to look and see if we can find this live. Let me go back out and in. I don't know why I've started having such a time getting the lives to pull up uh, when we get ready to watch them through the uh, group. But we'll see if it comes up. If it doesn't, we'll just go ahead without it. And we'll let these soak just a little bit longer. Okay. And I don't see it coming up anywhere. So, anyway, we'll go back to this. And this will be saved, so you can watch it on a replay if you need to. But as you can see, I got these in the water, and now we're just going to start taking, uh, picking them up just a few at a time. Uh, and you can just place them randomly anywhere you want to. And this one, I think we'll have it right up to the top. And dry it off. Just want to make sure you get all the water out. And you can see now how that shines through and that glitter shines through. So it looks like you actually put it on with glitter, even though you just put it on with a water slide. And you need to hold it so that you can push it and not move it and get the water out. Now this, uh, I will have to let it dry a while before I can go in and put the final coat of epoxy on it. But this is a much quicker, quicker way of doing this. Now that one had, uh, let me show you, a straight, see how that one has a straight side? And I left some like that so I could take it right up to the gold tape. I think you can see right in there where I took it right up to the gold tape. So, and then you can just randomly place them anywhere you want to. I do trim them pretty close uh, around them so that when I put them on, that way when they overlap each other, I don't have to worry about them moving as much. Use our brush and brush the water out. Put 
press the water out that way. Here's another one that has a straight side. So I'm going to put it over here. Now if you notice doing this, I did not pre-wet my cup because these are small pieces and I don't want them moving once I put them on there. I want to try to keep them in the spot that I put them in. And um, if you would, uh, I've started, we have started Black Bear Glitters and myself a YouTube channel and we're trying to get enough subscribers that we can do some lives on that channel. So if you would, uh, just go in to U Dash Style Designs Black Bear Glitters on YouTube and subscribe and like and then maybe we can get some uh, lives going there. Right now we have some recorded videos on there, but we haven't done any actual lives on there because you have to have um, at least a thousand subscribers before you can go live. So that way with y'all's help, we can start going live on YouTube. But this is a much, much faster and easier and less messy way of doing your gypsy leopard spots. See, I think that one I'm going to turn it around and get some color right in there. There we go. That looks much better. You can see how they're doing, how the glitter shines through. And I'm holding it on one side, pressing the water out. And one thing about doing these smaller pieces, you don't have to worry about having as much water to deal with. So, here's one more piece that's uh, it's got a flat line. Let's see if we can get it to line up. Push it up against that foil that we put down. And it looks like rough there. Maybe that in as a, there we go. Now when I do my water slides, I spray them twice with Rust-Oleum Clear Gloss. Let it dry in between each coat. And then I use Plasti Dip and spray it once. Let it dry. And then I spray it one more time with the clear gloss. And I think you've heard me talk about the difference in the the matte, the semi-gloss, and the gloss in the clear when you're using it for a sealer. And the way I think, uh, you know, it's gloss for a reason, matte for a reason, and semi-gloss for a reason. Semi-gloss tells me that it's not going to have as much gloss as a gloss will or a matte. So I don't want to dull my glitter with a matte finish or a semi-gloss finish when I can put a clear gloss finish on it and it be shinier. So I just feel like it will dull your glitter in any process that you're using it to seal your glitter if you use a matte or a semi-gloss versus a gloss. So, now we're letting a few more of our water slides work for us. And then we don't have many left to put on. And we'll have them all on there, all that we need. So, we can take them along. Let's see. Another one right there that's a long one. Let's see if it's going to fit right 
got here. Leave it there. And I'm pushing it right up against the foil tape, as you can see. Make sure you press the water out. And I've got another piece here that's got a smooth, flat side that will go up against the, um, the foil tape. And that one did fold under a little bit, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to slide it back off. And where it folded under. See if I can get it straightened out. And it did. Okay. Got another place that we need one. And yeah, maybe right there. And we're going to push that straight up against it. See where it lines up. And when I say straight side, what I mean is the ones that run along this edge here. And that gives me a straight edge to put it right up against the tape when I'm putting it on the tape. And then the others I can put in the middle. And let's see. And that one folded back under just a little bit. And remember, you will have to let this dry before you can put your last coat of epoxy on it. But you can. This is smooth enough all in here. That's where you'd put a quote if you want one on there. Where you'd put a monogram or a name. Um, that's where you would put it. You can go ahead and put that on once your uh, leopard print dries. And then put your last coat of epoxy on. And I'm going to cut and have just a few more little black spots to fill in some of the places. So I'm just cutting it apart, fixing a few more little black ones so that we can put them in here. Just a few blank spots where I think I need to put just a little. So we'll go from there. Let's see. And there we'll put right there. And remember, if you would, please go to the YouTube channel, U-Style Designs Black Bear Glitter, and subscribe and like, and that will help us get a thousand subscribers so that we can do some lives on there, too. Okay. Put that one right there. Then I've got one more I'm going to put, I think, right here, and that's all I'm going to put on it. I think it'll be beautiful. And then what I'll do, I'm going to go in um, after this dries, and then probably tomorrow I'll be able to fo uh, post a finished product, and you can see it with the epoxy on it. So... Give that just another little bit. There we go.
Mm. I think it's okay now. All right, that's what it looks like with our gypsy print on it. And we did that couple of twists with it. We put the gold foil tape on it. And then we did our spots with water slides, which saved a lot of time and a lot of mess because we didn't have to use uh, glitter and Mod Podge to get it on there. But we have all of our beautiful glitters that we got from Black Bear Glitters that really makes this one pop. So I will, like I said, when this dries, I'll retape the top and the bottom, and then I'll put a coat of epoxy on it, and then it will be ready to go. So y'all have a great evening. Hey everybody, this is the finished product of the Gypsy Leopard Tumbler that we started on Monday night, and we did it with Black Bear Glitters and Mica, and it turned out beautiful. Uh, we did it in three parts, so you can go back and do a replay and see it. And I want to go in close so you can see where we did the spots with the water slide. The glitter does show through, and it makes it look like you did it with glitter. So it was a lot quicker, a lot easier, and no messy mess to clean up. I hope you have a great, great weekend, and um, we'll see you on Monday night when we do another tumbler. Hadn't listed it yet as to what I'm going to do, so I'll put it in the events when we make up our mind what we're going to do. So see you Monday night. Bye-bye.